Welcome to the Kalispell Warhawks Dynasty. My name is Mr. Hurricane. We have our Warhawks on the road tonight to face the Wyoming Cowboys. Kalispell 7-2 this year and Wyoming 6-3. Both are vying for that top spot in the Mountain Division. The Warhawks successfully bounced back last week, defeating Colorado State in dominant fashion. Tonight begins a tough stretch of games to close out the season as Kalispell looks for win number eight. The ball is teed up, and off we go in week 12. Kalispell football underway. From the end zone, here's Ja'Cory Day, angling to the middle and taken down after a modest return to the 23. Kalispell opens with a three receiver set, in the backfield is Roscoe Sheridan, coming off a very strong game last week as he carries and plows his way ahead for a pickup of five. The Wyoming defender to keep an eye on is number five, Brock Oxendine. He transferred from Washington and he can be a tremendous force in the middle. He has three and a half sacks this year and is a great run defender. Battle's first throw of the game is complete to Amante Jones, who was high school teammates at Billings with Oxendine. New set of downs, Sheridan again, getting off tackle, spinning his way ahead. This one goes for six. Kalispell had Sheridan and Corey Miller over 100 yards last week. Sheridan again wrapped up on the play, and there is the aforementioned Oxendine. Gain of a couple. Third and short. Up the middle again. Sheridan picks up the first down. Kalispell moving the chains on the ground as they pick up the pace a little bit. Battle sprints right. Stays on his feet. That was Oxendine. And Battle will scramble out and pick up the first down. We're already seeing the impact of Oxendine. And so far we're seeing Kalispell run the football and then go hurry up. Trying to wear out that defensive line and get them tired. Toss left, Corey Miller cuts up field. This will go for two yards. And again, they go without a huddle. Miller still in the game, third and inches. He gets just enough, but not much more than the first down yardage. Roscoe Sheridan back in the game. Good opening drive. Blitz on the way. Pass incomplete through the hands of Donnie Castillo. Good hit on the play. Third down now for the Warhawks. Oscar Williams stays in. Pocket collapses and battle throws off the mark in the direction of Ja'Cory Day. Oxendine helped to get battle off his spot. So now it is a 52 yard try for Lorenzo Bell. And the freshman kicker pushes it wide right. He had the leg but not the accuracy. Wyoming will take over and here is a quick update as Iowa State upsets Oklahoma. I'm sure they'll be ranked now at eight and one. Wyoming football, this is Isaac Lepke on first down, missing his target. Lepke, 20 touchdowns on the season, just two interceptions. On second and 10, swing left, this is Green, and Kalispell rallying, brings him down, gain of one, that was Watson. Third and nine for the Cowboys, blitz sent from the secondary. Nice catch on the adjustment by Wright, but that won't be enough to move the chains. Still scoreless here in the first quarter. Kalispell takes over and right back to the running game. Sheridan can't spin to the outside. Great stop after a one yard pickup. Two tight ends on the left side as Battle gives to Sheridan. Taken down quickly yet again. This time the tempo running game isn't working. So third and nine. Six in to protect. Battle with time. Running out as the ball is knocked out of his hands. Actually ruled incomplete. And if he waited much longer, this would have been a sack fumble most likely. Again, we go back to the Cowboys. They did not get much going on their first drive. Now Lepke wants to scramble, but look at all the defenders surrounding him as he is taken down. Loss of two, that's TJ Strong. Empty look now, and Lepke throws a quick screen to Mike Green. And again, Kalispell rallies, short pickup. Kalispell prides themselves on tackling and limiting these catch and runs as Thad Ashley makes the catch and he gets very close to a first down, but Kalispell does get the stop. Ashley is their top receiver with 755 yards receiving. Still scoreless, two drives each as Sheridan is cut down again. That's Brock Oxendine, three yard pickup. Both front sevens are flying around the field. Now battle, complete underneath, and Archer to the sticks that'll move the chains. 
That time they ran Day and Archer underneath. Draw play now, and there's some room. Roscoe Sheridan met and stood up after a six yard gain. Looked like he might get a whole lot more. Spreading out this team now, second and four. Pressure's there, and the ball is dropped through the hands of Sheridan and battled just two of seven. He started slowly last week, but the run game was great. Now on third down, they moved the chains, and there's Amante Jones. But look how difficult it is to get just four yards. Both defenses are not making this very easy. Split backs now as Miller joins the fun. He runs left, but Battle fires down the middle, and that's complete to Jones again. Gain of 10 as he gets into the action very early. On second and short. To the right side, nowhere to go. Sheridan shut down. Now decision time on third and two. Do you trust the running game or do you keep it in Battle's hands? He'll throw. On target, first down, Donnie Castillo. And again, a defender there to meet him right as he makes the catch. First quarter winding down. Battle with pressure. Takes his shot to the end zone. Intercepted at the goal line. Wyoming will take over as the first half is completely scoreless. This deep shot was intended for Sonny Archer. I expected a very hard fought game here in week 12 and the first quarter did not disappoint in that department. Scoreless ball game, Lepke play action. Now looks to scramble, first down, and gets hammered by Shannon Evans. Gain of 11. Lepke with a tough run, now on first down. Runs to his right, gets past Strong, that's first down yardage again. On the hit is Malcolm Tyson, but Lepke running through this defense on this possession. Kalispell has to keep in mind of the mobile quarterback. Toss left for Green, and there's no one on the edge. Green taken finally to the ground, but gets another first down. Wyoming having some great success just running on this defense. Delayed now, Green into the open field. Another first down, that's four straight first down runs. And they've basically ran for half the yardage that Kalispell usually allows on this drive. Now they move the chains in the air and that's Thad Ashley coming across the middle. Goal to go Cowboys, Williams to the right. Now Kalispell clamping down, only a gain of two. Kalispell always tough in the red zone. Second and goal. To the left goes Marcus Williams. In for the touchdown. And Wyoming strikes first. And let's hope Kalispell can make some adjustments after that drive because that was dominant football by the Wyoming Cowboys. Another update. Two teams in the Mountain West not playing too well. Fresno State and BYU clash this week. Fresno wins by four. Now Kalispell takes over at the 25, and here is Sheridan unable to find any room. No gain. That front seven is wreaking havoc, and now Kalispell is one-dimensional. Battle up the seam on third down. They move the chains. There's Ja'Cory Day as Kalispell counters the aggressive blitz. New set of downs. They'll try running again. Sheridan gets a block. Powers through a tackle. That's a first down. Well executed play that time as everybody hit their blocks and Sheridan created a little extra on his own. First and 10, left side now and good job by the Cowboys again getting the Sheridan in the backfield. Four receivers in the ball game needing 12. Battle, fires, complete, it's Amante Jones. After a great release off the line, Battle finds his big outside target and throws a laser. I like when they get Jones involved. He's the best possession receiver on this team. Now it's Miller, and again, the aggressive Wyoming defense on first down pays off. Corey stays in. Here's third down. Blitz sent. Up the middle now. First down. Day makes another tough catch. It's first and goal. Kalispell looking for the answer. Roscoe Sheridan delivers and gets the touchdown. It's been a very even game to this point, and Kalispell matches Wyoming. We have a really good game here tonight. We saw the Cowboys run very effectively last drive. They go back to it, and a tough hit here on Green limits him to five. Kalispell stacking the box now, left side Green. Gets past John Charles, but not much further. Third and short. Split backs this time. 
Lepke sweeps to green, and he's taken down for the loss. It's Jay Page, the senior All-American safety. Another punt forced by Kalispell as this first half is winding down, and Day wants to return this. It touched him, and it goes out the back of the end zone for a safety. What a blunder by Ja'Cory Day. He had some room, wanted to take this. He secured it in the back of the end zone, but he also went out of bounds. So two points go to Wyoming. In a game like this, those two points are critical. Now the Cowboys get possession on top of it. And they're getting the football after halftime. So up to Lepke, good throw to Shelby. They move the chains and just like that, they're in Warhawk territory. Lepke back to the air, blitz picked up, caught by Thad Ashley. First down, tackle on the play by Chris Smith. Approaching field goal range, they might be able to make one from this distance. Lepke to Shelby, to the 30 yard line, gain of seven. In the hurry up now, Lepke running option, wrapped up. That happened too quickly, he wasn't prepared, thanks to Jared Merritt. This is a big spot here for Kalispell. Can they force a punt perhaps? Third and seven wide open is Johnny White. Running inside the 15, 21 yards for the Cowboys. It's a red zone trip again. Green up the middle, right past the linebackers and a gain of 10, goal to go. A couple minutes on the clock, in the eye. Green wrapped up. Excellent stop, Eugene Howell. Kalispell couldn't make the stand last time. Now to the right, Green hit immediately by TJ Strong. Third and goal. Wyoming now back at their own nine yard line. Lepke short to right and that won't get it done. And Kalispell uses their final timeout to try saving some time. Now they have to be careful. Two weeks ago against Boise State, they made some mistakes and tried to get it all back before the half and made even more mistakes. So here's Day on the return to the sideline now, and Day out across the 40 gives Kalispell good field position. What you can't do here is turn the football over. Battle, wide open, that's an easy one. Sonny Archer sprints ahead to the 40 of the Cowboys. Gain of 19. Speedy Lamar Williams checks in. Battle to Castillo, broken up by another good hit. Battle just nine of 18 in the air. Four on the rush, Battle just gets it away. Deep for Day, he drops it as well. Met by the safety who jars another one free. Kalispell not making enough tough catches. Here comes Jones on a very critical third down. Battle under pressure, no chance, he's sacked. And everybody was covered, MJ Barnett. Kalispell knocked out of field goal range and they'll have to kick it back. Just one play left for Wyoming as they lead 12-7. Here's a catch by Shelby that will end the half. Very tough physical football so far, and in these close games, mistakes like the one Ja'Cory Day made just mean even more when points are at a premium. Wyoming up five. The first half of this game featured some tremendous defense. Both front sevens have been on top of their game, secondaries have made plays, and the offenses have really had to earn their points. Kalispell has much to fix in this second half, but they don't have the football right now. Wyoming does, and Green is wrapped up again. Kalispell getting multiple tacklers to the ball carrier. To Green on third down, he gets a lane. The line got a great push off the snap. That's a gain of seven. 55 yards for Mike Green. Give to Green again, getting to the outside now. Chased down by Kelly John Charles, but 10 more. Wyoming has been at their best when they can run the football downhill. Green barreling over TJ Strong, 13 more. Wyoming keeping their formations compact. Now they'll throw it in the flats. Williams is bumped out of bounds. That loses four. Kalispell again with an aggressive look. Lepke blitzed and that was a risky throw. Ashley gets two and they're lucky that wasn't picked off. Third and 12, just in field goal range. Lepke hit again and that's incomplete. Good rebound by Kalispell. Now a field goal upcoming. 
This also from 50 plus. On its way and good. Wyoming now leading 15 to seven. Let's see if this Kalispell offense can get something going now. Eight point game, battle has time. Now rolls left and throws off the mark in the direction of Oscar Williams. Wyoming has covered pretty well in this game. On second and 10, this is Sheridan trying to get outside, but quickly he's taken down. Gain of two. Just 44 yards on 14 carries for Roscoe Sheridan. It's third down. Open is Archer, but he can't make the catch. Wyoming jars another one free. The Cowboys take over with all the momentum on their side. Lepke gets it away, but he would have been better off just taking the sack, perhaps. That was a loss of seven. Third and long, Lepke gets plenty of time, gets the open look and Shelby has it go off his hands. That was a very big missed opportunity. Kalispell will get it back now, Ja'Cory Day inside the 25, settles underneath and he shakes off a tackle. Now Day to the far sideline, gets the corner to the 40. Day runs out of room, but a very good return of 23 yards. Can Kalispell do something with this field position? On the toss, Roscoe Sheridan doesn't get the blocking to even get started. Kalispell continues to go backwards as Jones makes a catch coming across the middle for nine. This is a more manageable third and four for Kalispell. Four on the rush. Battle, incomplete, and he hit Ja'Cory Day who wasn't ready for it. Another failed possession. Back to the Cowboys up eight. Running with Green, he'll lose yardage. Nice hit by Kelly John Charles. Kalispelt continues to create these tough third and longs. They only bring three. Caught by Shelby, and no problem there. Another three and out, as Kalispelt's defense is keeping this close, as close as they can. Another punt today, here he is from the 40. Across the 45, trying to weave his way into some room and gets 17 yards. Jacory trying to make up for the safety earlier. Here's Miller in the game. He gets some room to run, and that closes down quickly. Gain of seven. A minute 23 to go in the third quarter. Another blitz, and battle is thrown to the ground. Not prepared for it. Sacked by Jake Jean. Third and 12 on the outside of field goal range. The blitz is handled. Up top for Castillo, he makes the catch. That's the catch of the day so far as Castillo, who's had a couple tough drops, makes an incredible grab. Now battle, chased out to his right. Throws on the move, cut by Archer, touchdown! Kalispell closing the gap. It was a designed rollout pass with the only open look being to Archer coming across the backside. Now they look to tie it. Two point try, battle rolls right. Has to make a decision, caught by Miller, but he stepped out of bounds, illegal touching. But that was a big drive for the Warhawks set up by the big Donny Castillo catch. Now down two, it's green on the carry and a good one for nine. That takes us to the fourth quarter. Wyoming to the ground again. They get off tackle with Green across the 40. No one in front. Green to the 10. Tyson can't catch him. Touchdown. Just like that, Wyoming pulling away with a 59-yard touchdown. They've had a lot of success with that power running game. Now Kalispell trails by nine. Battle escaping the pocket on first down. Somehow gets this away. There's Archer in the open field. Tripped up after a 37-yard run. Now they had Day way downfield. But Battle hardly had anything on this throw. Luckily, Archer was right there. Now in Wyoming territory, Battle swings it to Miller. The 35 taken down. There's a five-yard catch. Going to their split shotgun look now. Four on the rush, battle complete. Tough catch made by Day. Pickup of seven. Two tight ends now. Play fake to Sheridan. Battle across the middle complete. Hooking up with Oscar Williams for 18. Goal to go, Kalispell. And Sheridan to the goal line. And maybe a little short, 
on the three yard pickup. They go to their goal line personnel. Hand it to Miller for the touchdown. Kalispell again making it a one score game. Miller's fourth of the season. Now can they keep the Cowboys from scoring? 22 to 20. And Lepke running on first down and taken to the ground by Elgin McCormick. Third and 14 for the Cowboys. They have struggled in this situation and they'll fail again as Ashley only gets four. They've basically refused to go deep against this defense. So another punt for the Cowboys and Day inside the 30. Fields this kick, starts right, cuts left. Day across the 50 and into the open field. Ja'Cory Day is gonna take this for a touchdown. 71 yards. That more than makes up for the safety, Ja'Cory. How about that? The first put return touchdown in Kalispell history. And this crowd now silent as Kalispell has captured the lead at last. 26, 22, battle for the two point try, sacked. So it's a four point game in one of the most thrilling weeks of Kalispell football. Wyoming now having to chase Kalispell. Here's Lepke with an open look downfield. One of his deepest attempts of this game goes for 15. From their own 40, they try running off tackle, but don't block John Charles well enough as he protects the outside. John Charles with three tackles behind the line today. Now third down, Lepke check down Green. That won't do it. And as the clock winds down, it looks like the Cowboys will indeed go for it. Fourth and eight, very critical down. Kalispell, man-to-man -man defense. Lepke outside, right with the catch, and he hangs on. The chains move on fourth down as Smith could not break it up. Fresh set of downs for the Cowboys. Green runs into a wall and it's Eugene Howell leading the way. Wyoming needs a touchdown on this drive. Lepke steps up against the rush running and taken down by Neal following a nine yard pickup. Third and four. Again, we have Lepke getting outside the pocket to the sticks. He moves the chains and Wyoming gets even closer. Getting closer to two minutes remaining. Second and six, wanting a screen. Lepke is taken down and it's Marion Triplett with the sack, the first of his career. This makes it third and 17. They have to get to the 20 to convert. Lepke to the end zone, overthrows his receiver. Now it's fourth down. Game potentially on the line. Three receivers, two to the right, seven in to protect. Lepke has time. He's going to the end zone, and it's broken up! Incomplete! And Tone Slater got a hand on it! Oh my! Lepke threw a perfect pass. Slater just had the perfect defense. What a play by Antone Slater. His biggest as a Warhawk. Now Kalispell, not done yet, needs to take care of this clock. Three for Sheridan. On second down, Sheridan gets out left, gets a defender turned around and moves the chains. It's a gain of 11. They're very close now to ending this game. Sheridan runs left, bounces off a tackle and is knocked to the ground, gain of four. It's now third and three. Battle giving to Miller, to the outside, moving the chains. First down, Warhawks. And that will do it. One of the hardest fought victories of Kalispell football history. I can't believe that game just happened. So much went on in this game. There were so many amazing plays. This game was dominated by low percentage moments the big plays that are so tough to pull off and yet that's what it took for these teams to put up the production both teams played one incredible game Wyoming had control for most of it but Shakori Day's punt return touchdown proves to provide the game winning points but Anton Slater he closed this thing out with the biggest pass deflection of his career
Let me know in the comment section what your favorite moments were from this game, and there were so many to pick from. This victory has put Kalispell back into the top 25 with an 8-2 record, and there's still a chance they could win the Mountain Division and go to the conference championship. They'll face Utah State, who has been phenomenal this season. 8-2, very surprising, but they've been one of the toughest teams in this entire conference. If Kalispell loses, they will not win this division, as they already lost to Boise State. I can't wait to see how this game plays out, but I still can't get over today's matchup. Now, I know that we snapped that ball with Corey Miller with 11 seconds on the play clock. Watching that back, I was a little confused about that, but thankfully it turned out. Maybe I just thought there was one on the play clock, and I saw two ones and didn't compute that very well. But I'd say that is one of maybe the 10 best games on this channel. It was that good, and it was so much fun. Now we have a little bit of recruiting news this week as Eric Velazquez has chosen the Colorado Buffaloes over Colorado State. So he stays in his home state of Colorado. But we do get two commits. Marty Belafonte, the playmaking running back from Florida, has agreed to become a Warhawk. And he's the type of player that I think this offense could really use. And then quarterback Dustin Payment. He's a three-star 6'4 quarterback who has the mobility that we had, of course, with Marquise Walker. Accuracy is also not his strong suit. Not sure he'd ever be a phenomenal quarterback, but he's going to be a player that might lead the offense in the future. That would, of course, allow us to run more of the concepts we had with our previous offense. Now, there is some bad news this week, as Wesley Merrill had a great visit with South Carolina. He's now actually favoring them. And then Walter Garcia is starting to favor Eastern Michigan, as he had a visit there this past week and has an offer from them and Ball State. Still, there are many players that are favoring Kalispell, and I expect our recruiting class to get even stronger. We are currently ranked with the 42nd recruiting class in the country, and I think that we're going to have a very good class when all is said and done. That brings Week 12 to an end. What an episode this was. Just an incredible game. With an episode like this, can we get the video to 1,000 likes by any chance? Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for much more exciting Kalispell football on the way, and leave your feedback below. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.